Okay, hello. Um, hi everybody, is anybody there? Hopefully this is working. Let's... Oh, <laughs> hi, hi Flory. Oh, hi Lizzie, hi Beck. Well, this is fun. <laughs> let's uh let's see who else is okay so i've got to come down okay hello hello arthur hello linda hi ah hi rora hi janine and alice hi alice hi ryan hello everybody nice to meet you all hello from Theo at Madley School. Hello. Hi. Hi, Ruby. Oh, there's so many of you. This is great. Hello, Eve. Hi, Matty. Hi, Bella. Hi, Bella. And hi from, oh, Charlie. Hi, Charlie. <laughs> Right, so you're all you're joining me. I'm at a, in a lovely sensory room for you all today. Hi, Molly. I've never done a Facebook live before, so this is this is all new to me. And uh, Dexter and Ezra, hello. And from Jude. There's so many lovely people joining. This is great. Just see if there's some. Oh, <laughs> hi, mom. <laughs> this is fun. Okay, so I'm coming to you from. Oh, hello. Good morning from Thomas and Victoria. Hello from Stanley. Hello, Hazel. Ah. Oh. I'm so excited about reading this book today and I've got lots of friends to help me out and help me tell this story and we'll have a little meet them in a minute um, when we see if everyone is here. So like I said, I'm coming to you from a beautiful sensory room at the Worcester Snoozland who have been kind enough to let me use their space. Um, I thought no better place to tell a sensory story from a sensory room. <laughs> um, so today I'm hoping to use lots of different pro hello from everyone at Snoozeland. <laughs> hello Snoozeland. Um, we're hoping to use lots of different things to help us explore this amazing book Room on the Broom. So we are going to be reading Room on the Broom today. Oh, can you see her? Uh, with all of her, her animal friends today. Um, First of all, I think we should probably warm ourselves up. Oh, hello. Hello, Max and Jack. Hello, Ollie. Hi, Ollie. So we're going to hopefully, we got this, if anyone who knows this book, there's lots of wind and storms in it. So we're going to make some amazing sound effects for our storms. And I thought a really good thing that you might all have is a bag to make some amazing whoosh windy sounds and help me out by telling this story and also if you have your mom or dad or sister or teacher or someone with you maybe they have a book and when the wind comes in maybe we could do a big waft hello to red class from ashperton primary hello and hello L lynn sorry i am dyslexic if i get your names wrong i'm terribly sorry uh lena and jack hi so if your parents or sisters or teachers want to waft you and make the wind really blow while you're making your sound effects, that would be amazing. So you can feel the wind. That would be very good. Hello, Abby, uh, Albie. Hi, Albie. <laughs> Need to call you Abby then. Couldn't read properly. <laughs> um, so that's our wind. So if we have a plastic, if you've got a plastic bag or something that you can make some noise with, that would be amazing. We're also going to use our voices and wave our hands around as if we're in the in the uh, in the wind. So let's have a bit of a. If I'll give you a bit of time, let me know that you've got your got your bag or something to shake. 
um, and that you're all that you're all ready to go, and then we'll have a bit of a bit of a warm up because I think we should warm up our voices and our faces and get our bodies wiggling a little bit. I think before we we dive into our book. Hello from Thea. Oh, uh, oh, sorry, Thea, Thea, and Ludo. Sorry again if I have your names wrong. I'm terribly sorry. I'm awful at reading, which is great that I'm reading a sensory book. Um, so are we? Oh, hello from Xander and Corbin. Hi guys, and Liza and Jonathan. Hello. So I was saying, if you missed it, if you've just come on, uh, I was just saying that we're gonna get make some sound effects. So if you have a bag or something to make some nice rustly noises with, that would be amazing. And if mums or dads or teachers, hello from Zara, hi Zara. And morning from Tilly and Max in Hereford. Hi Tilly and Max in Hereford. Um, morning from Nola and Finn. Good morning, good morning. Uh, so yeah, so anyone who has missed that, I'm just saying getting something to make some, hi Jonathan, something to make some amazing windy noises with, and Jack and Lois, hi Jack and Lois, gosh this is a full house today, it's lovely, this is great, um, so let's see if we're all, oh my bow fell off. Let's see if we are all ready to start some warming up. Okay, I think our hellos may have finished, but I can, oh, hello from Dexter in Hereford. Hi, Dexter. Hello, Stephen. Hi, Stephen. Nice of you to join us. Okay, so we all have our windy bags ready. We all have our parents and friends and sisters and brothers or teachers who are gonna make some lovely wind for us so we can experience that wind. And we are gonna start by warming up our faces. So if you can, if, or if you've got a friend or someone wants to help, we're gonna just give our faces a little rub. Wake it up, say good morning face. Just gonna wake that face up, give it a little wiggle. Hello face. <laughs> and we're gonna make our faces do a really <gasps> wide face. Hi Daisy. Make our faces really big. Can we make a big face? <gasps> That's amazing. You're doing a great job. And can we make our faces really, really scrunched up and small? Really scrunched face. Really small face. Amazing. Can we make a big giant face? <gasps> Amazing. And through this, we're going to have to do a witch's grin in our story. So let's see those grins. Can everyone do a big grin? The biggest grin I've ever seen. I can. I wish I could see all your faces smiling back at me. That would be lovely. Okay, so we've warmed up our face a little bit. We're going to pretend like we are chewing something really, really sticky. So we want to move our faces. Oh gosh, I wish that was like a really nice sticky toffee. Um, let's see if we can chew that. Moving our, moving our mouth around. That's it. <laughs> Very good. So our face, my face feels nice and warm. I hope yours does. Hello from William and how and Freya. Nice to see. Nice. Well, I'm nice. Nice of you to join us. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so let's see if we can warm up some the rest of our body. So if we can, let's warm our hands together. You can do this with a friend or a teacher or a parent. We can rub our hands together, making that. Oh, that's nice. It's, it's chilly this morning, so let's warm our hands up. And rubbing, like I said, if you want to do help, help whoever you're with. We're going to warm our arms up. Just give it a nice little little wake up to our arms and our shoulders and across the top of our chest and our backs and then we're going to give our arms a bit of a shake great everyone feeling a little bit more awake good morning everybody 
So I would like to introduce you to some of my friends that are going to help me tell our Room on the Broom story. Now, I'm sure most of you know this story, but I've brought some friends along to help me help me tell it. So first of all, we all know it's about a witch. And I am <laughs> going to turn into the witch today. Ha <laughs> ha. So I will be playing the witch and these are my friends that have come to help me tell the story. So first of all, we have the cat. Meow. Now let's hear, we're going to do all sorts of sound effects with this today. Can we meow like a cat? Meow. Meow. Lovely. And what about purring? I know this cat loves to purr. Can we purr? We're going to be doing lots of purring in this story. Great. You're all great, pussycats. Okay, what's the next animal that our witch meets? Does anybody know? I think our anim our witch meets ruff! a dog. Ruff, ruff, ruff. Let's, everyone, can we be a dog? Who's doing the best dog impression right now? <laughs> and of course he wags his tail can we all give it a bit of a shake and wag our tails because we are happy dogs this morning we are definitely happy puppies <laughs> amazing so that is our dog we also have our bird now those of you that know the story know that there was a green bird but we have a blue bird today because i only have a blue bird to come and help me so we have to an ear piercing shriek this bird has now let's see if we can hear those shrieks let's have a listen amazing you're all making the best noises and this bird also has lovely blue wings. Can we flap our wings? Can we make them flap? Whoosh. Amazing. Amazing wings. Don't take off. Okay, and the next person that we're going to meet, our next little friend that we're going to meet, is our ribbit. Our frog. Ribbit, 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 as clean as can be. Ribbit, ribbit. Ribbit, let's hear your frog noises. Ribbit, 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 ribbit. <laughs> Is that good? And um, of course, what do frogs do? Frogs jump. Can we jump? Let's see. Who is the biggest, bounciest frog? Let's see. Can we jump our arms and our heads? What part of your body can you jump to be like Mr. Frog? <laughs> ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. He's a very happy frog this morning. He's very excited to be helping tell this story with us today. Amazing. Now, does anybody know who the last person is that we meet on our travels on the room on the broom? It's a bit of a scary one. It's the dragon! And he breathes out fire and he roars. Hi, Lily and Bella. <laughs> People are still coming in. I'm just introducing everybody to our characters that are going to help us tell our lovely story today. Because we're all going to make our set the sounds of the animals and we're going to do some wind. We're going to make this book really come to life with your help, guys. So here's our dragon. <sighs> Remember, he wants nothing better than to eat. Witches for my tea. Rawr. So let's hear that roar. Rawr. Oh, you're all very scary. Very scary dragons. <laughs> Dragon. Yes. Yes, these are very, very scary dragons that we are going to meet at the end of our story. You're correct. It is a dragon. Hello, Ollie and Ruby. People are still coming in. This is great. We're just introducing everybody to our lovely creatures that are going to help us tell this story. <gasps> oh, wow. That's an amazing run. <laughs> I can imagine. I wish I could hear you all doing your amazing dragon noises because I bet you are very, very scary. 
Lovely. So we, oh, if I, if you came on a little bit later, we, we said we're going to do some lovely wind noises and we're going to make them with a plastic bag. If you have a plastic bag, that's lovely. You can make some lovely wind noises. And if you have a friend or a parent or someone, love the dragon. Ah, oh, thank you. <laughs> if someone um, is with you, they can make some wind just so you can feel and we're all taking part in this lovely book together. Okay. So we... Well, I think we should get started. <laughs> okay. The witch had a cat. This is where we do our voices. Meow. Meow. And a very, very tall hat. And long ginger hair which she wore in a plait. And how the cat purred. Let's see those, let's hear those purrs. Oh, it's a very happy cat. And how the witch grinned. This is where our face needs to be, those big grins. How the, cat, how the witch grinned. And they sat on their broomstick. And they flew through the wind. That was the wind. Can we do some wind? Are you ready? <gasps> Amazing. And how, but how the witch wailed. Are you ready for a witch's wail? <laughs> Can we wail? Let's hear your witch's wail. <laughs> and how the cat spat. When the wind blew so windy, it blew off her hat. Right, let's make this wind. Let's blow the witch's hat off. Everybody, wind! <laughs> Down! cried the witch. And they flew to the ground. They looked for the hat. But no hat could be found. Then over the, then out of the bushes, on thundering paws, <laughs> bounded a dog, woof, with a hat in his jaws. Woof, 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 woof. Woof, woof, woof. <laughs> Politely and eagerly said as the witch put her hat back onto her head. I'm the dog, as keen as can be. Is there room on the broom for a dog like me? Woof, 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 woof. Yes, cried the witch, and the dog clambered on. The witch tapped her broomstick, ding, ding, and whoosh, they were gone. <laughs> Over the fields and the forest they flew, let's fly, the dog wagged his tail. Can we wag our tails? <laughs> we are very happy dogs. And the stormy wind blew, are you ready with the storm? The witch laughed aloud. <laughs> Let's hear that. Can you all help me do the witch's laugh? Are you ready? One, two, three. <laughs> and she held on to her hat. But away blew her bow from her long ginger plait. <gasps> right, everybody, let's do the wind. Let's blow the witch's bow away. <gasps> oh no. Down, cried the witch. And they flew to the ground. They searched for the bow. But no bow could be found. Then out from a tree, with an ear-splitting shriek, 
There flapped a blue bird with a bow in his beak. Now, can we flap out of the tree? Are you ready? Can we be our birds with our bows in our beaks and we're flying down from the tree? Are you ready? Oh, there are some amazing birds going on. That's great. She dropped it politely and bent her head low, then said to the witch, as the witch put back on her bow. Oops, a daisy. She's just going to put her bow back on. I'm the bird, as blue as can be. Is there room on a broom for a bird like me? <gasps> yes, cried the witch, and the bird fluttered on. Oh, look, it's getting a very busy broom. The witch tapped her broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. <laughs> Over the reeds and the rivers they flew, let's fly. The bird shrieked with glee. Come on, let's hear your shrieking for glee. <laughs> That's amazing. And the stormy wind blew. Let's hear that storm. Are we ready? Back to our storm. <laughs> they shot through the sky to the back and beyond. The witch clutched her bow, but she let go of her wand. <gasps> cried the witch and they flew to the ground they they searched for the wand but no wand could be found then but no wand could be found then all of a sudden out from a pond leapt a dripping wet frog with a with a wand with a dripping wet wand sorry <laughs> let's hear our lovely frog noises <laughs> you're very jumpy frogs <laughs> he dropped it politely and said with a croak as the witch dried her wand and the fold of her cloak. <sighs> oh, my frog! As green as can be. Is there room for the broom for a frog like me? <laughs> yes! cried the witch, and the frog bounded on. Oh, my goodness! This broom is tiny. The witch tapped her broomstick, ding, ding, and whoosh, they were gone. <laughs> Over the moors and the mountains they flew, the frog jumped for joy. Ribbit, 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 let's fly. Whoosh. Oh, this is great. <gasps> Flying so high over the mountains. <gasps> Jump for joy. And the broom <gasps> snapped in two. Down fell the cat and the dog and the frog. <gasps> Down they went tumbling into the bog. Oh no. Down went the cat. <coughs> Down went the dog. Woof. Down went the frog. <gasps> <sighs> The witch's half broomstick flew into the clouds. The witch heard a roar that was scary and loud. This is our dragon's roar. Are you ready? Let's hear. Oh my goodness, you're all so scary. Let's hear that roar. I know you're good at this one. Are you ready? Oh my goodness. That is so scary. 
I am the dragon. As mean as can be. And I'm planning on having witch and chips for my tea. No! cried the witch, flying higher and higher. The dragon flew after her, breathing out fire. Rawr! Let's hear your fire roars. Rawr! Oh, that's fantastic. She looked around, all around, but help could not be found. The dragon flew nearer and licking his lips. Can you lick your lips? Mm, look, he's got his tongue out. He's all ready for that witch. Maybe just this once I'll have witch without chips. But just as he planned to begin his feast from out of the ditch, there rose a horrible beast. It was tall, dark and sticky. It was feathered and furred. It had four heads and wings like a bird. It had a terrible voice when it started to speak with a yowl and a growl and a croak and a shriek. It dripped and squelched when it strode from the ditch. And it said to the dragon, Buzz off, that's my witch. The dragon drew back and it started to shake. Ooh, let's shake like the dragon. Ooh, it's very scared now. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, he spluttered. I've made a mistake. It's nice to have met you. And now I'm, now I must fly. And he spread his wings and he flew off into the sky. And the down flew the bird. Oh, where's my bed? <laughs> down flew the bird. And down jumped the frog. Down clambered the cat and phew, said the dog. And thank you, oh, thank you, the grateful witch cried. Without you, I'd be in that dragon's insides. <sighs> then she filled her cauldron. She said with a grin, let's have that grin again. Where's that witch's grin? <clears throat> Big smiles. She's very happy now she's been saved. Find something, everyone. Throw something in. So the frog found a lily. Oh, thank you, Mr. Frog. And the cat found a cone. The bird found a twig. Thank you. And the dog found a bone. <laughs> ah, thank you. Throw them all in. And she, the witch stirred them well. Can you help me stir? Are we ready? Let's stir our cauldron. Help the witch. But she needs to mutter a spell. Can you help me? We're going to say, Iggity, Ziggity, Zaggity, Zoom. Iggity, Ziggity, Zaggity, Zoom. Right, let's go. Iggity, Ziggity, Zaggity, Zoom. Iggity, Ziggity, Zaggity, Zoom. Iggity, Ziggity, Zaggity, Zoom. One more time for good luck. Iggity, Ziggity, Zaggity, Zoom. <gasps> then out rose. A truly magnificent
magnificent broom! Wow! Witch seat for the witch! And the cat, the cat and the dog. A nest for the bird. And a shower for the frog. Ribbit, 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 ribbit. Yes! cried the witch. And they all clambered on. The witch tapped her broomstick. Ding, ding. And whoosh! They were gone. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. I hope that you enjoyed and and thank you for helping me read our lovely Room on the Broom book. Now, what I, we can do, um, we've got a little bit of time left. So we could do some, we can have a nice little cool down and we can have a little relax and stretch our bodies and because we've worked very hard through that. Is that what you'd like to do? Or we can we can recap some of our animals and make some more sounds. What would we like? Can someone let me know if you're still there? If you'd like to do some, some, some stretching and some moving, or would we like to recap some of our some of our animals? What do we think, guys? Anybody? Ah, oh, thank you, thank you, Max. I love the story. I can't. Oh, moving. Bye. Oh, oh, thank you. Bye bye. Let's have a let's. I know. Let's because it's the end. Oh, animals. Let's do some more animals. Okay, so let's just recap. Let's say good. Oh, we should really say goodbye to our animals, shouldn't we? Let's say goodbye to our animals. So first of all, let's all do a big witch's laugh to say goodbye to our witch. <laughs> Who can do the really big witch's laugh to say goodbye to our witch? <laughs> goodbye. Thank you for coming to do our story today. <laughs> Lovely. Let's say goodbye to our cat. Meow. Let's do some more. Who? Let's hear your cat noises. Meow. <laughs> Can we stretch like a pussy cat as if we are clawing at our floor? If you've got a cat, you've seen them do this. And they claw at the floor like this. Meow, meow, and stretch. Oh, cats love to stretch, especially when the sun is out. Oh, nice stretch in the sun. Meow. Oh, it's lovely. Oh, oh you're such amazing cat. Oh, that's some very good pussycat action going on there. Amazing. Goodbye, pussycat. Thank you for helping us tell our story. Bye-bye. Who was next? Let's see. Was it... Hello, I'm a dog, as keen as can be. <laughs> Let's be our dogs. Let's hear our whoops. Woof. Let's hear it. Let's hear those doggy noises. Woof, 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 woof. Now, this dog was very happy, wasn't he? He wagged his tail a lot. Can we wiggle our bottoms to wag our tails? Woof, woof, woof. Woof, 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 woof. Oh, you are fantastic dogs. Woof, 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 woof. Oh, well done. You guys are the best doggies ever. Woof, 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 woof. Now, should we say goodbye to Mr. Dog? Goodbye. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs> now, who did we see next? I know, it was our very, very noisy bird. <coughs> With a ear splitting shriek. I bet you were very good at this. I bet moms and dads at home loved it when you were doing this amazing shrieky noise. Are you ready? That's amazing. And we need to stretch and flap those wings. Oh my goodness. You are the best birds ever. Let's see how hot. Oh, don't fly too high. Amazing. 
Oh, you guys are great. <laughs> Lovely. Okay, let's say goodbye to our bird. Bye, everybody. Nice to see you. <laughs> Bye, Mr. Bird. Off he flies. Now, who did we see next? It was our frog. Ribbit. 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 Now, our frog likes to jump more than anything. Ribbit. 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 Now, we can jump our whole body. We can jump our arms. Whee! We can jump our heads. We can jump our legs. Jump anything you can to be like Mr. Frog. Ribbit. 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 Thank you. It's very, very nice of you to help us do our story. Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. I'll see you soon. Ribbit, ribbit. <laughs> bye bye, Mr. Frog. <laughs> okay. Now, this one was a little bit scary. Who was the last animal that we all saw? That's right, it was Mr. Dragon. Let's have our fiery roars. Oh my goodness, you're all very, very scary. You were really good at your dragons. Let's see some more dragon roars. Oh, he is very scary. You guys are so scary. One more time. Biggest roar. Three, two, one. Roar! Oh, that's fantastic. That's the best roar. Super duper roar. Okay, and then, of course, our dragon flew away. So let's just stretch up high and then back down just to flap those giant dragon wings to fly us away. Oh, my goodness. Fantastic. Okay, let's give ourselves a little wiggle. <laughs> And let's wiggle those fingers. And can we do a big breath in? And a breathe out. Amazing. And a breath in. And a breath out. We're going to do one more of those. Big breath in. And a breath out. Now this bit I'm going to ask you to do is very important. Okay. I'd like you to hold your hands if you can out in front of you. Now you really need to concentrate. Okay. Are you ready? Give yourself a massive round of applause. Because that was brilliant. You guys were fantastic. Thank you so much for inviting me to read this story with you. I've had a fabulous time and a happy World Book Week, guys. I hope you have an amazing rest of your week. And uh, maybe I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye. Let's see if anyone's going to say goodbye. I'll say goodbye to a few of you. Oh, thank you. Thank you, guys. Oh, bye-bye, Lizzie. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> uh, that was lovely. You'll have to watch yourself. Back. Oh, thank you. Um, thank you. Bye, bye. Bye. Thank you, Molly, for coming. Oh, thank you. Thank you, awesome. Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, lovely to see everybody. Thank you for your comments. Oh, bye, Charlie. Bye, Charlie. Wanna? Don't wanna go without saying goodbye, Jack. Bye, Jack and Lois. Day to make sure I've seen everybody. Thank you very much from Eve. Oh, thank you. I'm glad Eve had a good time. Bye, Ryan. It's brilliant. Oh, thank you, thank you. Oh, lots of smiley faces. Love a smiley face. <laughs> oh, 
Bye bye, bye bye. Thank you. Uh, oh, thank you guys. Thank you for jo for logging in and uh, enjoying our story with us. Bye bye. <laughs> think that might be everybody oh bye bella bye thank you for coming and joining us another smiley face <laughs> thank you okay bye bye everybody oh that wasn't the mouse <laughs>